people are going to see this store and they're going to think Warby Parker took this giant leap into retail. But we've actually been doing bricks and mortar retail from uh, almost the day that we started. We launched Warby Parker in February 2010. We had this innovative home try-on program, which we actually had to shut down within 48 hours of launch because we ran out of inventory. The future of our business in all retail has, is going to have some online component, some offline component. The world doesn't have to be black and white and consumers don't think of buying all their products online or buying all their products offline. Sometimes I think people think of technology as the end all be all and technology is a tool um, and if you focus on building a, a brand that resonates with people and creates emotional connections then you can leverage technology to do great things. When we started on this store, it was completely from scratch. It wasn't going into optical shops and seeing what best practices were, because frankly, we thought that that experience was stale and uh, ineffective. So you come in here, you're gonna check out on a tablet that uh, connects with our backend, so it's the same inventory, no matter whether you're shopping online or shopping here in the store. We definitely took some nods from Apple. I mean, actually, we're standing at a store and across the street is the Apple store. Uh, we just looked at how they completely rethought retail. What I think Apple did tremendously well when they launched retail was not to focus on how, how to shove as many products uh, into the footprint as possible, but really focus on the customer experience. So when a customer walked in, it was a beautiful space, they could interact with the products, and it, it really was focused around creating a magical experience, and we've tried to do the same thing here. We think glasses are fun, and we think the shopping experience should be fun, um, and really that's what we've tried to create here.